Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I'm actually back with another installment of the Squish. We are building a tiny home today and this time it is a home for a travel blogger who is currently residing in the world of Mount Komarebi. This was actually a like very specific suggestion from one of you that I had written down a few weeks back. And so I don't remember off the top of my head who suggested it, but thank you so much. This was a lot of fun to do. So if you ha ever have any suggestions of builds you would like to see on the channel, feel free to comment them because I end up actually creating a lot of the builds that are suggested in the comments. Uh, I built this a couple of days ago over on Twitch. So you might see notice that if you were in the stream. Uh, but I think this build came out so incredibly cute. It is kind of open concept where there's not a separate bedroom, it but it's like one bedroom, one bathroom. And um, how much did this come out to be? About like 41,000 simoleons. So it's not the most expensive house, but I think the interior is so cluttered and fun. And I just had a blast figuring out which items I could use in the game that really told the story of a sim who is spending their time traveling, documenting that experience online, taking photos, writing about it, filming about it, all of that. And uh, I thought that this was so, so cool. So I was very glad that the suggestion specifically said in Mount Komorebi because I don't build here nearly enough and I think this world is absolutely stunning. So I was excited to build here. And so I ended up using a lot of items that came with Snowy Escape, but I didn't entirely focus the build on that. I wanted to mix a few different styles together and go for more of a modern home that has some touches of the more traditional elements of this world. And I think I did it okay. I, I like how the combination here worked. And of course, the landscaping that comes with Shalai Vida objects in Snowy Escape is absolutely stunning. I love this tree out front, a lot of the greenery I placed throughout the lot. I think I'm only using debug landscaping in this build. A lot of times I will combine things, but I think I'm primarily using debug on this lot. And I actually do have a strategic bush placement a little bit later because I wanted to use one of the, um, oh my gosh, what are they called? Oh no, the the tables that came with this pack that are on the ground with the blanket over it. I, I always know the name of them, but for some reason I can't think of it right now. But anyway, I wanted one of those in this build and I wanted it tucked against the wall, but that made one of the cushions be outside. And I just decided the best way <laughs> to deal with that was to put a bush over on the outside because I just really liked the placement and I wanted to keep it. Uh, it's a katatsu table, right? That's the right name? I think so. For some reason, when I was thinking of that, I, all I could think of was the area when you first walk in the house where you take off your shoes. And I'm like, it's not a Gencon. I know what a Gencon is. I think it's a Katatsu table. So anyway, uh, you'll see that <laughs> in a little while because it's shoved against the wall and I do end up covering it with a bush outside. But I think it all worked out so nicely on the interior. I love the layout I came out with, uh, came up with. And I did play test this to make sure it all works. So no worries on that. Uh, if you would like to download this build, it is available right now on the Samus 4 gallery. You can find it under my EAID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So this is the layout I went for. There's a lower area when you first walk into the house and then you can step up to this entryway, which I'm gonna have a desk in and then you can go down a couple of steps into the main living space which has a bed a katatsu table and the kitchen and then that little room that i have there is going to be the bathroom which just worked out really nicely like i said i love this floor plan i was also really happy using that awning that came with the desert lux kit as the carport i just thought it added a lot more texture and personality to the exterior of this home and there's just a bunch of little decisions I made here and there that I thought were really fun in this space. So right here, I'm using a wallpaper to sort of frame out where the TV is. We got a fairly big one in this space because I wanted to wall mount it and I just thought it looked nicer to have a bigger TV. So that's what I did. And then over here in the kitchen, I wanted to make sure to have some windows. I'm pretty sure I add more, but uh, I also grabbed those same windows. They're from Beast Game to put over here by the carport where I have the desk. I wanted to make sure to have some camera equipment hung up over here as well as an actual camera. We have some magazines. Those are all from the Moschino stuff pack. 
And then I was going through and looking for all the various maps and things that we have in the game. So I grabbed a map painting we'll be using. I had also remembered that this like little whiteboard item from Discover University has a map on it. So I wanted to include that. And of course, the postcard board, because you're probably collecting a lot of postcards from your travels. I thought that that would be really, really fun. Uh, but I don't remember to put the postcards on it until way later. So you'll see me come back to that. And of course, I like using the trunks, like the luggage as a bedside table with this sort of concept. So I made sure to include that. We're also getting some shoes over here in the front entry Gen Con and a nice rug. I should be adding, yeah, some coats and a hat and the temperature control should be in that front hallway as well. I think I also get a mirror up above the coats. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and then we're gonna start working on the kitchen. I kind of bounce around this build from room to room. I mean, it's all one big room essentially other than the bathroom, but I bounce from section to section as I get ideas or as somebody in chat had suggested something or reminded me of something that I said I was going to include, but I haven't placed down yet. Uh, so right now we're working on the kitchen and you can see I wrapped those windows around the corner there, which I think looks so nice. And we're also getting some open shelving. I believe I started with just having two shelves here, but I got rid of one of them in the end because I wanted a taller item on the bottom that didn't look right elsewhere. <laughs> so. I will be moving some of this stuff around. You'll see me uh, kind of figuring it out as we go. That little plant that's on the second shelf, I am still going to use, but it's not going to be on these shelves. It's going to be on the open part of that uh, cabinet piece above the sink. I put it on the little box in there, which I think looks really cute. I think I put some other clutter in there as well, but I just think that space looks so nice. I love all of the clutter I used. And the reason I actually ended up changing the spacing of that little plant is I was trying to move some of the items around here because I really wanted to include this framed photo of matcha and there were too many items there that it was all covering it, but I still wanted to use the plant. So I thought it worked really nicely over there. And then I just got a little rug in the kitchen and figuring out where I want these cutting, not cutting boards. Those are aprons. We already have the cutting boards in the kitchen. And then I also really wanted to clutter up a little shelf under the TV uh, for some more personal touches, a combination of just some cute clutter and some stuff they probably collected over their travels. So we have a snow globe, a couple of different figurines, and uh, also a framed like feather from a puffin, which I thought was so cute, and this little wooden statue. I thought it was quite cute. And then uh, over here in this front window, I put one of these cacti that is from base game. It came with an update at some point, and I also added a hot pot over on the Kotatsu table. And uh, just figuring out some curtains, some blinds over here. I really wasn't sure what I wanted with these. I ended up scaling them with tool to make them fit a little bit better. I was really trying to mix uh, modern and traditional in here. And I think it came out quite well. Uh, but here are all the postcards I included. I really wanted to use a lot of the ones from my first pet stuff because there are actual locations like Egypt and France and all of that. And I wanted to show a variety of different landscapes that this sim has traveled to. So I made sure to include that. And then we're just getting a painting and a hanging plant over in this corner by the bed. I love the green pops in here. It's mostly a brown interior, but I love all of the green. It just feels so natural, but also vibrant and colorful at the same time. Uh, and then, oh yeah, we're going to get some clutter on the bedside table, but I get to use a bookcase I haven't used in such a long time. And I'm so excited about it. This one from the fitness stuff pack, it fits perfectly in this corner. It's the right style. It doesn't feel like everything else is being like cluttered from it. It just looks like a cute little piece. And then I uh, put another painting over here as well. And I was so happy with that. It's a really unique bookcase that I just don't get the chance to use very often. I really do like the fitness stuff pack. It's uh, kind of an underrated one, in my opinion, because the clutter in it is very nice. Uh, I think the reason <laughs> it's not uh, so loved is because the main big gameplay item in it was a rock climbing wall, which is not exactly the most useful item. But I love the furniture and stuff that came with it. It's it's a really pretty pack. So that is where that bookcase is from, if you were curious. Uh, but here in the bathroom, it's a really simple bathroom. I had to use one of these uh, like open showers. This one actually came with Snowing Escape, so it matches nicely. And so did the toilet. The sink is from Dream Home Decorator, though. And uh, just adding a couple of clutter pieces in here, but keeping it fairly simple. So there would be no navigation problems for your Sims, no routing issues. And uh, then we're decorating on top of this little shelf here by the desk space. I wanted just to add a little bit of clutter up here. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I add. Oh, yeah, I added this random painting. I just thought it was fun. I wanted to add uh, a little bit more personality to the space. And I think the last thing we should be doing in here is adding a rug by the back door before we head outside. 
uh, just to get a little bit in the backyard space. Oh yeah, and I added a rug over here as well. I forgot about that. We're just getting last minute clutter in here before we do head outside. Sometimes it's hard to remember what order you do everything in because I will just keep going and being like, oh, but I could add this here. Uh, so yeah, we're outside now. I did add a tent out here. I thought it was kind of a fun idea to symbolize that maybe they bring that with them on their travels. And I just, I thought it was cute. This one is from Snowy Escape, but we also have a few that came with Outdoor Retreat. That's the first time we got tents. Uh, it's just, I kind of liked this one a little bit better. Uh, so then just getting some stairs, heading out into that backyard. And I don't get too many activities out here. I believe we just get some plants a couple of planters so you can actually work on some gardening. And one of the last things I add, I believe, is a telescope. I'm still really excited that we have telescopes in the game now, uh, the smaller ones, so you don't have this giant observatory in your backyard. It's just such a nice functional item for the game to have. Oh yeah, and I added a seating space out here. This table and chairs, this like little uh, picnic bench, I think is what you would call it is from the free holiday pack. I think it's one of my favorite items in that pack. It's just really versatile. I often forget it exists, but whenever I remember, I get really excited about it because it's just so pretty. And I added a debug umbrella through it. And here are those planters I had mentioned and then just fixing up some terrain paint and getting a barbecue out here as well. So if your Sims want to cook out, that is an option. And I really love the overgrown grass that came with cottage living. It just adds a little bit more. I, it just feels more lively. Everything looks so nice to have that depth to the grass, I guess. Anyway, there is the telescope and then we are heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy those screenshots and I will see y'all soon. Bye everyone.